this video we're going to be looking at interpolation. Now, I know a lot of you find this topic a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. Let's see how we do. Okay, so in this question, we need to find out Q1, which is the lower quartile. Now you should know to search for the lower quartile, we do n over four, n being the frequency, so the frequency over four. And the total frequency here is 26. If you do five plus eight plus seven plus six, we get 26. So it's 26 over four. And that gives us 6.5. Now, remember, this is not the answer. If only it was that simple. This 6.5 is just telling you, you need to look up the 6.5th value and that will be the lower quartile. So we're not there yet. The first interval is zero to 10 and we've got five numbers in there. So the 6.5th number is going to be beyond that. It looks like it's gonna be in the next interval the 10 to 25, because there's eight numbers in there. Now, it's very important to remember you've already gone past five numbers. So if you're looking for the 6.5th number, you need to go past how many numbers? Another 1.5 more. And that's really important. So of the eight, you only want 1.5 into there because you've already passed five numbers. Now in GCSE, when they ask a question like this, you just give your answers 10 to 25, and that'll be your answer and you're all done. However, you can't give the whole class as your answer in A-level. You have to select a number between 10 and 25. And that's the bit which makes it a little bit tricky. Okay, so at least we're sure it's in the interval 10 to 25. So you can note that down for sure. Okay, so how much into this interval should we go? Now the frequency in here is eight and we don't want much of it, do we? We only want 1.5, so it shouldn't be too far in, right? It should be quite close to 10, maybe 11, 12, something along those lines. But of course, we can't just guess. How are we going to do this? Okay, how many into the eight did we want? Remember, we went past five and, we were, and we're looking for the 6.5th number. So we need 1.5 more. So we want 1.5 into that eight. And this is the key bit. We're going to say we want 1.5 over eight. We want that fraction of the way in because that's what fraction of the eight we want. 1.5 over eight. So remember, we don't want all of that eight. We only want a little bit of it. To be exact, this fraction of it, 1.5 over eight. So I'm going to suggest, let's go that fraction of the way in into this interval 10 to 25. Now, how do you go that fraction of the way in? Well, it's simple. You just times that fraction by how wide it is. And that will tell you how much of, the, how, and that will tell you how much in you want to go. Because this is 15 wide. And we already know we don't want to go that much in. We don't want too much of that eight, just a little 1.5 of it. So let's do that fraction of the eight we want times how wide it is. So 1.5 over eight times 15. And that gives us 2.8125. We were guessing it was close to 10. So you just wanna go this little 2.8125 of the way in. So if you're going that much in from 10, where are we? What's the number? Well, let's just work it out then. So it's 10 plus that little bit which we want to go in, 2.8125. And that gives us 12.8 to 1 dp. So that'll be your answer. So remember, so it's not like GCSE, where you just say the interval 10 to 25. You have to select a number between them. You can't just give the whole interval as your answer. And what did we do? We kind of used the idea that whatever fraction of that eight we want, because we don't want all of that eight, that's what fraction of the way in we went. And we did a little bit of math to work that out. If you'd like, pause the video and think about that for a moment. Okay, let's try again. I reckon two more tries and we'll probably get it nicely. In this question, we want Q3, which is the upper quartile. And you should know to get that is 3n over 4. And it's the same table. So it's going to be 3 times the frequency over 4. 
and that gives us 19.5. So we want the 19.5th number. So just be very careful, don't give 19.5 as your final answer. It is not an answer. It's just which term we're looking for. So how do we find this 19.5th value? Okay, so let's go back to our table. In the first interval 0 to 10, we've got five numbers. In the next one, we've got eight. So far, how many have we passed? If we go past the eight included, we've gone past 13 numbers. So we still haven't got to that 19.5th value, have we? So let's carry on. And just take a moment and think how many more numbers do we have to pass to get to the 19.5th value? Because remember we said we passed the five and passed the interval which has eight. How many numbers have we passed? 13. So if we pass 13, how many more numbers do we have to pass to get to the 19.5th value? And a little bit of mental arithmetic should tell you you need 6.5 more numbers. And great, it's going to be in that 7. We don't need to go past that 7 to get to it. So we know this is the interval, 25 to 30. Okay, so remember, like before, we can't just give 25 to 30 as our answer, as we would have done in probably in GCSE. We have to select a number between 25 and 30. And it's going to go back to that same method. How much of that frequency did we want? How much of that 7 did we want? Not all of it. Most of it, I'd say. So we wanted 6.5 of that 7. That's a big fraction of that 7. What fraction of the 7 is it? It's 6.5 over 7. That's what fraction of the 7 it is. So that's what fraction of the way in we're going to go. And of course, that's most of the way in, isn't it? So we know our answer is going to be something close to 30. Now, the next question is, how do you go that much of the way in? I'd first ask myself, how wide is it? It's five wide. And I want to go that fraction of the way in. And we simply times it by how wide it is. And that will tell us exactly how much to go in, starting from that 25. So we do 6.5 over 7 times 5. And that gives us 3.571. That's how much in you want to go from the 25, don't forget. So we're going to do 25 plus this number. And that gives us 28.6. So we were kind of right. It was close to 30. And it makes sense because we did want most of that 7. Again, just pause the video. Have a think about it. Do the whole question through in your head. And we'll try it on the next one. Okay, so in this question, we want Q2. And Q2 is just the median. And you do your frequency divided by 2, which is 30 over 2. And that's 15. We're looking for the 15th number. Okay, so the first interval's got two numbers, so it's definitely not in there. We're looking for the 15th number, remember. The next interval's got nine in there. How many numbers have we gone past? We've gone past 11 numbers. So we need to go a little bit further, because remember, we're looking for the 15th. Stop for a moment. we passed 11 numbers. How many more do we need? Because it's good to work that out now, because it's most likely going to be in the next one. We need four more numbers. Okay, so it's definitely in the next interval. So the interval is 20 to 30, but we want four more numbers. So we want four out of that total eight frequency in this interval. Okay, so of course we need to choose a number between 20 and 30, because that's the, that's the answer as an interval, it's in the 20 to 30. And if we want four out of the eight, that's exactly half of that frequency. So you kind of don't need to do what we did here. You know it's halfway, because you want half of that frequency. And halfway from 20 to 30 is simply 25. So you can pretty much stop there, but I'm just going to do the calculation so you get used to that for questions where it doesn't work out as nice. Okay, so how wide is it? It's 10 wide. Okay, and we want to go what fraction of the way in? 4 out of 8, or we could say half the way in. Now, it's not difficult to say half of 10 is 5, so just go 5 in from 20 and you'll end up at 25. But here's the calculations. So 4 over 8 times how wide it is, gives us five. So now we know how much of the way in we want to go. We want to go five of the way in. So we're going to, so we want five of the way in from where? From 20, so just add it on to 20, and you get 20 plus five, and we get the suspected answer, 25. Perfect. Okay, here we've got a tricky one. Now, tell me why do you reckon this might be a tricky question? I'll give you a moment. 
it's because there's gaps in the data. The interval goes 0 to 7, but the next one doesn't start at 7, it starts at 8. So there's gaps, and it's key to recognize that because it works a little bit differently when we have that. And what you need to do with these types is don't see as 0 to 7. See as 0 to 7.5 because you're going halfway between that gap, that gap 7 to 8. So you're going to halfway between that gap, which is 7.5. So the first interval is not 0 to 7, it's what? 0 to 7.5. What's the next interval? It's not 8 to 15. Where does it start from? It starts from 7.5. So the next interval is actually 7.5 to 15.5. And the next interval is not 16 to 20, it's 15.5 to 20.5. And the last interval is not 21 to 30, it's actually 20.5 to 30. And if you just imagine these intervals are the ones we just mentioned, then the question is going to be straightforward. So don't just see this interval 0 to 7, 0 to 7, just for all purposes, it's actually 0 to 7.5. Okay, so let's carry on. This question wants us to work out Q2, which is the median. Okay, so we'll add up the total frequency and that's 30. So it's going to be 30 over 2, which is 15 again. We want the 15th number. Now let's see where the 15th number is going to lie. It's definitely not the first one because there's only 8 in there. If we pass that, it's 11 in the next one. If we pass that, we've passed 19. So we've gone too far, so it must be in that 11. Now, how much into the 11? That's the key bit. So let's so take a moment and think about that. Remember, you've passed 8. How much more do you want to get to the 15th one? And you should have said 7. You need 7 more to get to the 15th number. So you want 7 into this 11. That 8 to 15, remember, you don't want to look at that interval as 8 to 15. It's actually what? It's 7.5 to 15.5. And we'll just write down how wide that is because we know we're going to need that. It's 8 wide. Okay, so what fraction of the way in do we want to go? Well, what fraction of that 11 did we want? We wanted 7 into there, didn't we? So 7 over 11. That's what fraction of the way in we want to go. So we'll do 7 over 11 times how wide it is, which is times 8. And that gives us 5.0904. So that's how much in we want to go. And of course, it starts from 7.5. So we need to add it on to 7.5. And we get 12.6 to 1 dp. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.